In this video, we will learn how to configure the menu and side tools. As usual, this and Epic is used as an example. In the template setting page, you can see the menu and side tools parameter. Here, you can control main menu panel width, side menu panel width, sticky menu, mobile menu effects and side tools. In the main menu panel width, you can set the width of each sub-menu. Now, the value is 200 pixel. I will change it to 85 pixel. We will continue to configure the side menu. The sub-menu panel width of side menu now is 200 pixel. I will change it to 85 pixel. Sticky menu can be configured for mobile and desktop. When you tick the mobile box, it will always see the sticky menu on mobile. If you do not select the mobile box, the menu will be sticky. It's the same for desktop. Next parameter is uh, mobile menu effects to choose from. There are five effects. Default. Push left. Push right. Slide left and slide right. Now is the last part, the side tools. There are three options for you to choose. No, it means that you don't want to show the side tools as menu or a line. In parameter colors in selector, you can reorder the color position and you can set up what color to include in the selector. For example, I don't want visitors to select the blue violet and orange color, I unselect those colors. Remember to save all the changes before you check the changes in front end. So, we finished the menu and side tools configuration. In the next video, I will introduce SEO and system configuration. Thank you for watching. You can keep in touch with us on our Facebook and Twitter with the username Joomla Shine.